she's here. The USS Discovery. Not gonna lie. One of the prettiest models. One of the prettiest models they've ever put in this game. Hands down. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Like, is it, what, what is that? Is that like a chrome paint job? It's glistening. Freaking gorgeous. Let's talk about the USS Discovery. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! So, like, is, is this it? I just, just mine with it? Is that all it does? That's it. Okay, is it for now? I mean, right now, it basically is just a glorified, massive limousine that you can mine mycelium with. That, And I, I'm not necessarily saying that to, like, just dump on it, but right now, the USS Discovery is very limited in what it actually can do. It's not that strong as of, of a warship, and the warp range is limited to, essentially, this part of the world. So if you wanted to jump up here, or you want to jump up here, up here, you're not going to be able to do that. And I am going to have a little bit of that here in the video, but right now you see the main point is doing the mycelium mining so that you can upgrade your ship. Even though the refinery rates on this mycelium is, um, it makes you feel like the regular grind for refinery is good. That's the current state of the refinery for mycelium. But we do have the context is for Kings, which is going on while I'm making this video. Obviously my video coming out a little bit later due to the passing of my father and everything. And I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who reached out with condolences and those who reached out to help pay because we had to go up to his apartment. We had to clean it out. We had to pay for, you know, cremation, everything. And, and just not to get morbid, but I mean, that wasn't something that we were in a position to do. I mean, we had already replaced the roof on the house this year. We had to buy a new car because somebody wrecked us this year. I mean, uh, it's just been a 2020 just for us. Like it has been for everybody else. So big thank you to everybody who reached out and supported through, you know, PayPal Venmo. Uh, Y'all help make us afford the trip to get up there. So thank you so much. But on to the USS Discovery here. I, um, it's arc one. I'll say that. Look, the first arc of the arc trees generally start off really slow. It worked that way with the Sela one. It worked that way with the Borg. And even the Borg didn't really end how he wanted to. And the, in my opinion, the outlaw arc was completely, really did not live up to expectations. This one's starting off kind of where I expect it to be. And then we'll get a little bit more of the discovery. I mean, I can tell you, and DJ talked about this on his show. I disagree with him to an extent. But uh, you are getting a lot more to the Discovery coming. It is going to be worth more than the Stella. I agree with that. It is better than the Stella, but that's not a really high bar to set. The Stella is pretty awful. <laughs> but I think that what you're going to be able to do with this eventually is going to make it something that you want to grind. So if you're grinding right now, free to play. A lot of you have actually unlocked this because I've missed so many days. I am currently at 187.5. So I've gotten my free Discovery. And some of you have actually already completed this. There's 10 days left. And you can see the right there just got number 14. Once you get to 14, you will have unlocked a full version of the Discovery. So anyway, let's talk about this little pretty angel that looks like a freaking stretched out limo right now. So we're going to warp this back and then we'll talk about the insides. All right, so let's get to the nuts and bolts of this thing. We, we kind of previewed it a little when this came out, which I was excited because Discovery is, you know, continuing on that scopely allowing, or eh, allowing is not the right word, bringing in the rest of Star Trek into the Star Trek Fleet Command universe. So this is the first step. So I was really excited about that. Now, the ship itself, we've gone over the details a little, and it's honestly not that great of a warship. Now, obviously, mine's tier one. I haven't even leveled it up yet. I actually just got it today. You saw me open the ship. What do you guys expect? I know what you expect. Be patient. But it's real interesting to see you come down to the defense, and it's actually got a higher dodge value than shield deflection, which is typically what you have from interceptors, not explorers. So it's really... The, the, the how we set this up could be very useful down the road. Just keep an eye on that because if you keep the shield up and have, basically having double bit it, we'll worry about that later. Anyway, the really cool, cool feature that everybody knows is the spore drive. Now, it does not have a huge range. You see right now, I haven't even upgraded mine sitting at a very nice, pretty low warp. 
and it's kind of that way when you level her up and it does take a while there is a grind not saying there's not everybody knows there's a grind on this ship if you've been starting it out it is the franklin 2.0 in terms of grindiness and that's not a compliment it's not but i will say that uh, its use is really interesting i love the fact that it's come in and brought a new element to the game and let's talk about that new element which if you've had trouble using this you need to make sure that your game is updated to the latest client because if it is not you'll click on like sore nil and then you won't have this little button down here see, see that one down there at the bottom left that little spore button you hit it you can see where you jump at or you can just say hey i'm gonna set course and then the screen pops up well how do you want to do it do you want to jump or do you want to set course? Well, let's do the jump. Shipping. Black alert starting, which not bad. Decent animation. And then whooping. We're there. For a thousand mycelium. We have now lagged up the game <laughs> and made it here. Here's the discovery. Now, obviously, there's a problem for a lot of players right now. One, the range is super limited. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you've got to be here essentially you got to be down the lower end of the space a couple things have happened with that that's brought a lot of players down that were in faction space just so they can use and farm for this and remember you've got systems all over the place that are mycelium systems i've been using uh, this one right down here this little baby one but you have multiple systems for farming mycelium all in this lower end of space but until they modify now and panic mentioned this he hinted at it when this all came out that right now he said this on the official discord that right now the range on it is limited hinting at in the future it's going to go up there's going to be some changes to the discovery or maybe they bring it just point being really weird for them to actually hint something that we're going to see it change i think that's pretty awesome so like i'm going to actually just black alert back into the mycelium system and get to farming again because as i talked about the rates for this thing are super super low so i'm going to hop on a node here and then we'll look at the refinery which the refinery rates on this thing are bad now i've already run my refinery today so i'm not gonna be able to show you the actual rate but i know most of you have seen it if you are that curious about the rate then we can talk about it but the refinery tab now has the discovery section right in here at the bottom and then you've got the discovery refinery which i've already done and then the mycelium which you can hold a limited amount that i'm currently sitting at max because i uh, purchased the accidentally i per was going to purchase the premium pack for the battle pass and accidentally purchased the pack that's 20 dollars for the discovery so now i'm sitting on an extra discovery yeah i accidentally bought the 19 version of that whoopsies i guess mistakes happen not the first person to do that but as a ship the current state of it i don't get excited about it but i am curious as to what the future plans are and how it pans out can it surpass the stella and can it surpass the franklin i even knowing the little bit of what i've heard about what's coming I still don't think it's more important than Vidar. If I had to tell you which one to grind on, focus on the Vidar still. But it could be the number two. It could go Vidar, Discovery, Franklin, Stella. I think it's going to be more Vidar, Franklin, Discovery, Stella, but we got to wait and see. But in terms of the base components of this ship, it's very interesting, and it is developed into a conduit for a lot of PvP for a lot of people. Now, you might love or dislike that, and I know DJ talked about that on his podcast earlier in the week. I actually don't care because I don't I don't care. <laughs> the reason I don't care though is if you look at how Discovery is set up, mycelium mining is like to combine the idea of Armada PvP forming with mining. And if you've noticed, there's a trend of getting active mining more into the game. So I'm reserving judgment to see how the rest of the arc plays out. But in terms of first look at Discovery, those are my initial thoughts, and that's the beauty coming out. If you haven't gotten it yet, then just continue through it. I will say it is worth getting for free in the Battle Pass. It's literally free, so grind it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and uh, live long and prosper. Stay safe, other space cowboys. I'll catch you on the next one. Once again, thank you to everybody who's reached out and been there for me. It's greatly appreciated. Love y'all, and uh, y'all are the reason I do this. So, see you. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah!